Hello students, this is Monica, your English teacher and today we are going to do a very adventurous and exciting chapter from the collection of short stories and poems, chapter number 9, Tiger in the Tunnel by Ruskin Bond. Now, let us first know about the author. Ruskin Bond is one of the most popular Anglo-Indian novelist and short story writer. He was born in 1934 at Kasoli in Himachal Pradesh. He has received several awards for his beautiful writings. He has written more than a hundred short stories, novels, essays and more than 30 books for children exclusively. His writings usually revolve around the theme of nature, animals, life, travel, love and fun. He presently lives at Landor in Masuri. Now, let us know a little more by understanding the summary of this chapter. It is a simple and touching story of a tribal village family. The essence of the story is captured in its simplicity and innocence. It unwinds the story of Baldev, who is a watchman and carries his night duty religiously. It was a usual night when he was suddenly jolted by some strange sound, which he later recognizes. His worst fate is knocking at the door. The story leaves us gaping in suspense, but in the end gives a sense of content. It gives us a very valuable and beautiful message. Life has to go on and the living have to remain. Now, moving ahead, let us have a look at the character sketch of the two main characters of the story. The first one, Baldev. He is the central character who is a simple poor man and is living hand to mouth. He is a proud tribal man though and is an absent-minded person. He is also brave and courageous and sentimental. And above all, he is a loving father. Now let us know about the second character which is Tembu, his son. The doting son. Having profound sense of responsibility, extremely brave and courageous, a loving son too, and a true tribal boy. Now, let us move on ahead to reading and comprehending this wonderful chapter. Temu the boy opened his eyes in the dark and wondered if his father was ready to leave the hut on his nightly errand. Errand night duty. So Temu woke up wondering whether his father had left for his night duty and there was no moon that night and the deathly stillness of the surrounding jungle was broken only occasionally by the shrill cry of a cicada. Now deathly stillness means frightening silence and cicada is a big insect that makes a humming sound. So it was a no moon night and the absolute scary silence of the jungle was only occasionally broken by the sound of a cicada. Further, sometimes from far off came the hollow hammering of a woodpecker carried along on the faint breeze, faint gentle. So along with the gentle breeze one could hear the hammering sound of a woodpecker. Or the grunt of a wild boar could be heard as he dug up a favourite root. But these sounds were rare and the silence of the forest always returned to swallow them up. Grunt, sound made by a pig. And wild boar is a wild pig. So the noise made by pigs could also be heard. However, all these sounds were not very often heard to break the silence of the jungle. Baldev, the watchman, was awake. So Baldev, who is Tembu's father, was now awake. He stretched himself slowly, unwinding the heavy shawl that covered him like a shroud. So he stretched and removed the shawl which was on him. A shroud is a cloth covering a dead body. So here, it was close on midnight and the chill air made him shiver. So the cold midnight air made Baldev shiver. 